guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the action, I want to take a quick minute to thank Keith for uh, filming a couple of my passes and bringing the super awesome Lakewood 5050 drag shocks. He's upgraded to some strangers and said, hey, put these on something, bro. And I said, I appreciate it and we will use them, especially since we had to take one off of Teresa's car. So we've got those. Um, also want to thank Eric for uh, catching a couple bootleg shots of the car. And I want to give Kevin a big shout out uh, for capturing most of the outside footage. If it wasn't for those guys catching it, we wouldn't have as much footage because I had some GoPro issues. Battery went dead. That was my fault. Um, it accidentally came on in the car going up to the track. And so that was my bad. Um, but I want to thank those three guys for helping out with the filming and check out Kevin's channel, Nimrod1769. You guys know that. He'll have a, some of Keith's passes, passes uh, Eric's, of course, some of mine, and uh, some passes of, uh, I think, I think he has some of Roger and Patrick, and uh, he'll have some other footage. So check out his channel because he'll be putting his video up here for long, I imagine. So anyway, enough of that. Thank you for the thanks. And also, I want to thank for Teresa for letting me go do this stuff. So onward to the video. Here we are. We're in Avalor Trojan. Me and you have us a good day today. You got a little uh, mad at us last time, maybe because of trailer jet. So let's get it done today. First pass. Brad, this is for you. as I did them because I either made two or three passes when I was making my lick. So instead of doing each individual one, we'll just do twos and threes like that. It makes it a little quicker, I think. So um, the first pass, we, we drove up there. Trojan ran great. Drove up there, got our tires changed. We had Kevin's old slicks on it. And again, we were just there to make A to B passes. We weren't trying to set the world on fire. We weren't trying to fine tune it. We were just trying to not miss gears make some passes, get some baseline numbers to start working from. So um, I also have the DA listed. Uh, probably when I show the time slip, I have the DA listed. Weather was not fantastic. So um, anyway, first pass, pull up, do the burnout. Two step starts. I don't have, you know how it is. Two step, it's coming on at 3000 RPM. The module, the selector only goes down to 4600. I have no idea what's going on. So I did a crap burnout, tested it, kind of, unplugged it, 
quick, got power from going to it, and then pulled up, left about five grand, and promptly blew the tires completely off the car. Um, we had the shift light set at 6,000. Uh, that pass was a disaster. We came back around, hot lapped it. I left about four grand, did a proper burnout, left about four grand, and promptly it fell right on its face. Um, for you guys that haven't watched any of the older Trojan videos, this car, number five cylinder, sucks oil like a psychopath. It smokes like a freight train when it leaves. It's always done that from the very first time I ever took the car to the track. It's also got this little funky hitch when the car leaves. It's always had that too. It's got different shocks and lower control arms. Doesn't matter, it still does. It still kind of has this little kind of shimmy move when it leaves. No big deal. Um, so uh, those two passes were not, technically speaking, great starts. Uh, I didn't do a great job as a driver or as a tuner. So uh, that's on me. Car shifted great though, so can't blame him. Gotta put it on me. So let's take a look at the time slips real quick. All right, 202, 802 at 91.4. Honestly, I was hoping for a little bit more mile an hour, but you know, it's gonna run what's gonna run. And like I say, we'll have the DA listed here. Our second pass, 171, 759, and 92.17. So, I mean, not a great start, but I guess it's better than the last time we had him at the track where we couldn't seem to get down the track with it. So, um, anyway, we had, took it back to the pits to let it rest for a minute. Peace here, and we're here. We ain't, there ain't nobody else up here. There ain't nobody filming, so we just got to end calls right now. So, uh, anyway, that's, uh, you know, we're not, I don't want to say we're disappointed, but we're a little disappointed. But we're not done yet. Day's just getting started. We're going to make some more passes. We're, now that we know the two-step's not working, we don't have to worry about trying to use it. We'll just leave off the clutch, and uh, we'll get it figured out. I think we got, I think there's definitely think there's some 730s in it. So, And then uh, from there, we'll just keep whittling away at it. Got the man Keith here, man. What you done finger banged up into that thing? He got, hey, holy crap. He's got that Holly Effa on it. Yeah, Effa right there. They got that Effa. I don't, what, I don't even know what that is. That looks like a Tom Tom. Tell me where to go. So he's he's going to make an NA pass. He's like, he's going to leave it like four grand. I said, I just did that. It bogged. Uh, 52. 52. Get that tack on up there. 52. You got to have them rip -ems, man. You got to leave on some rip -ems. Look at this. Tired. Look at this guy. I got $70 harness. The man got a $120 harness in his car. Look, he even went all out. $15.95 a piece for them 347 stroker badges. And got them brand new stiff walls. We have converted another one. <laughs> Safety first, guys, fire extinguisher. See that magic handle over there? That's the handle. When he pulls that handle, Ben Diesel better back up. Dom Toretto. Nobody likes a tuna. He verified the results. Got that draggy on there. This man has got all the technology. <laughs> What did it run? 31? What was it, 60 foot? Uh, 158. And it bogged. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked like it needed more power. Yeah, went up to, I bumped it 500. I like the aggression. I like it. Because, yeah, it almost dead hook. It kind of, it was kind of just wadding the tire as it went down it, for about the first probably 20 feet. It was just kind of, I saw it moving around at the end, yeah. We get this technology now. Look at that. Don't show all them draggy times, dude. Yeah. So it was 160 for the 60 foot on the draggy, 158 there. 732 or 731. All right. Mile an hour is a little faster on the draggy. Huh. I like that. <laughs> Give me a draggy. Hang on, we're about to time slips no nope. more. Yeah. Do it, out, do it in front of your shop. Nah, I ain't got enough road out there. I had to spend $100 in stripper glitter, eat the tires off the car, trying to get that one draggy number. I can just probably get someone to hack it for me and do it. Yep. <laughs> Got the launch RPM up to about 57. He said he went up five, but he left on 52 last time.
down on a mile an hour though. It sounds like it's bogging a little bit when it goes into the floor. It's just like it's, it's just being drugged down. Yeah, it's just like whoa. A little shot of nitrous like that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take this second to touch on Keith's car. Um, it's a really nice car. It's a 347, and I'm fairly certain it's a stock block. Uh, it's a base motor. It doesn't have a, you know anything. I don't know what cylinder heads are on. It's got a Holley High Ram on it, and uh, he's got Holley uh, EFI on it, and it's got like a 150 shot on it. So um, it's very clean. So it's a you know it's a full interior car. I know that means a lot to some people, um, and. The car has, it's got a T56 in it. I thought it had TKX, but it's T56. It's got 456s in it. And the car has always, it's always ran really well. It's never had like any issues. Um, it, I don't think, and I'm putting words in his mouth at this point, I don't know if he was super happy with the way the car ran um, or the performance that it had. It had good mile an hour, had decent mile an hour. It just didn't ET, we, you know, so we're, he was running some 26 by nine Hoosiers, which are, they're a great little tire, but you know, he was kind of overpowering them. And we, I say, talked him into trying some stiff walls, but he bought a set of stiff walls. And you've got to be, with stick shift car, you, you've, in my opinion, you have to be aggressive. You have to be aggressive with the launch. You have to be aggressive with the shifting. Um, you go where the track will take you with launch RPM. You go until it doesn't work, and then you back it down just a little bit. That's my philosophy. So Keith is uh, in, is is embracing that. And honestly, when you're at the track by yourself and you don't know people, you just keep doing the same thing, and you think it's okay, or you think that's good enough, or or it's uh, you know it's 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 okay to you, and that's fine. If it is, that's fine. But when you're hanging out with a group of guys or whatever, that's the great thing about groups is that we all push each other. We all push each other to try and be a little faster. Not to be the fastest guy, but just to be faster, you know? And it's, you know, you, you see Keith's car and it's like, man, it's got more in it, it's got more in it, it's got more in it. You just gotta get the, you just gotta get the, the 330 numbers. You gotta get the 60 and 330 working, man. And here we go. Now the car is starting to really make some progress. Because by the end of the day, he had ran a 670 flat, which is, a couple of tenths improvement over his personal best that he's ever ran in the car. Um, some of it is the tire and some of it is the driver. You progress together and he he did a great job in the car. He did miss a gear, did catch it on video, so Dr. Fear. But uh, you know, he did he's done a really good job of that car driving it and he's getting better. And uh, that car's gonna get faster. In the future it's gonna get faster. So it was very cool, but he made a couple motor passes of 31 and 29, and then it was time for the bottle. But for that, it's time for me to make some passes. But you'll get to see a bunch of other, uh, some of his other passes. Kevin will have those on his channel. I think I got, I think I got Keith one more time, or tw maybe twice more. But anyway, just wanted to give him a shout out. His car's kicking some butt now, and he's doing, he's doing a good job behind the wheel. So it's a win-win. So see you guys in the next clip. Not made with love, made with my own two hands. Substandard.
fourth pass here in a second. Keith will give us a signal. There we go. <laughs> Okay, David over here, he talking about David capping on me about this ain't ran as good as the EF5. Let me tell you something. It has ran faster every single pass. 802, 59, 58, 40. That's a trend, Holmes. That's what you science, that's a that's what we call a trend. And we are trending this way. Carburetor life. Ran two fastest mile per hour than EF5. Get out of my face with that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here with that explore intake, 40 explore intakes. Get out of here with that. That I got the wrong intake on this thing. 14, if I had 46, man. And I short shifted first on that pass because I suck. <laughs> promptly shanked it on the starting line again. We uh, spun the tires, just give it a quick little pedal and just, you know, run a 758, which was, you know, just that much better than the past before, which wasn't great either. So we brought it back around and hot lapped it. And um, this time we pretty much, we did okay on the start line. Uh, it was, you know, our best one yet. Did okay on start line, short shifted first, you know, and I'm, I was short shifted it all day long. Let's just be honest. I was just, I was not, I did not do a good job, but anyway, whatever. So we short shifted to come back, but 740. So now, now we're getting close. We're like, all right, now we're getting close. We're within striking distance of that 35. So we pull around to make another one and we shanked it. <laughs> and we're at 747. So let's take a look at the time slips and move on to the next clip. Son of a gun. 
Here we go. 170. 758 at 91.2. 157. Now we're getting somewhere. 740 at 92.3. That is a personal best mile an hour for this car. And then we came back around and we shanked it. <laughs> 161. 747 at 91.9. Not great. But we weren't done for the day. Want me to give him a lesson in slagging? I tried to give him a driving lesson. How'd that work out? <laughs> you want me to actually show you how to weld stuff? Well, dissimilar metal? Eric, I give you just enough information, just enough of a secret for you to have to discover it on your own. I'm like Dumbledore, and you're like Harry Potter. But you keep messing it up. I just want to know how to weld a woman on the steel. I can't tell you that. Yeah, that's what I need to know. It ain't steel, Eric. Tailpipe Mafia. <laughs> huh? How they sound, guys. That's right. Like every good tailpipe mafia. He's got cutouts because he only wants to be a man part of the time. <laughs> Not all the time. Huh? You hey. Have to, you have to sit down and go pee? Feel that. Feel it. Just feel it right there. Feel that. Slagging. Slagging? Right. Hey, Tailpipe Mafia. Yeah. Uh, do you actually get full benefits by being a part-time member? Yeah. Okay, I'm just saying because this thing... Sounds like the tailpipe like is like right in here. I don't know. I just I was wondering if you can actually claim to be tailpipe mafia. Does it got tailpipes? It does, but the, most of those guys associate that with the sound. It sounds so good, and I'm like, this guy right here, he's a double agent. The double agent. All right. Why do you keep following this Corvette? You like watching them spin, right? Look at that. I like watching them. All right. Water all the way up. I just ran a 740. There's nothing to brag about, but it's enough to get. I saw a, a drop of sweat beat up on Keith's forehead. So he went in and turned the bottle on, and he's fixing to go blast off. What's he going to run, Keith? 7-0. 7 6 -0. How big's a shot? How big of a shot you got in there, Toretto? 150. 150? The 50. That's with two T's, yo. All right, he's got it on a progressor. It's, he got it on a progressor. It's only 150 when fourth gear comes on. Speed yeah, so you can yeah. In there. I'd like to point out, man, got cam lock harnesses. This guy, I'll tell you what. Because I'm lazy. This guy likes to staple a $100 bill to every time slip he's got just to say I'm money in the bank. That's what he does. He said he's, he got the ramp set. He's trying to explain all this if stuff to me. I don't even understand what he's saying. I'm just like, leave on it. No ramp, just leave on it. Just do it. How do you do that? Where's the button? Make it happen. He got that little button. He got that little blue button. What is that? Is that a purge? Purge. Purge. All right. Get the bottle. Get it all up there. He got this thing has got a lot of technology in it. I need to see it all start happening, working, getting it done. Kevin said he's gonna run 670. He said he's gonna run 70. I don't know what's gonna run. He's about to lay the hammer down on this. They don't use dynamite to hunt you. They said they put you back, let you get bigger, catch you again. We have milk party bake for all your baker needs. Eric is about to produce some extreme violence, even with those mufflers. Come on, with it. Yeah, look at that. Hey, he nearly hurt his neck. Come on with it. 
Tell you what, if, huh? You ain't never seen him miss a gear? That, that the first time you watched him run that car, right? I, I tell you what, if he was my brother, I would get asked for a new mama. I swear to goodness gracious. Here we go. Jaws five, Revenge of the Scoop. Yeah. Hey, catch a few tuna in that for me. I'm not gonna lie though, this thing's fast. I mean, by my standards, it's really fast. A Jaws versus the Fox Bang. Patrick ain't about them big burnouts. Looks like a condo for dwarves. Or a bunker. You know, like you go down into the secret level. Or a bread box. Put a whole, put a whole loaf in there. This is the redemption run right here. gear shifter but he ain't no quitter either <laughs> i'm just kidding eric and i'm just kidding you youtube guys get off his back the boy's trying i'd have quit kevin would have quit i'd have quit there you ain't no quitter though <laughs> what do we do put a little put a turn or two on it yeah. on that clutch on that adjustment uh oh quadrants new, so. hold the hey let's hide the box fans for real this time what quadrants in it Oh, uh, the quick release? The, like a, yeah, like a, well, the quadrant. Hey, thing. look at the like pep in the step. Or whatever. We got a new personal best. What was it? Uh, draggy time or the... Time? No, the we don't care about the draggy time. Oh, right! That's what I'm talking about. Right. 679 on the draggy. What was mine on? 103? Sweet. Well, 60 foot. 143. Woo! <laughs> what was your before? Like a 160 or How about them MT stiffs, bro? That. That's what I'm telling you. Coach in there, coach. I ain't no coach. I just, they work for me. They work. <laughs> I'm not saying they, they work. They work, you work. 155 is the best 60. Uh, hey, and to be honest, that's just a scratching. You know what I mean? There'd be more in it. It's the track, if there's some clouds that come over right now and that track could get tight, dude, you just do what you want with the launch. Well, I dropped it from 6,000 down to 5,000. Well, on the bottle, yeah. But it grabbed it. And Put it back on six and go down to uh, <laughs> I'd maybe go down a hair, but. I'd maybe get start sneaking up on it a little bit, 
Because if, if some cloud cover come in, it'd get tight. Because, you know, they sprayed it, now sun come out, yeah. and it's done warmed it up. So if some clouds would come in, in the afternoon, this thing's going to get tight. If the sun will drop before they shut down, it'll tighten up big time. Go down yeah. some more on the tire yeah. pressure until you find out it don't work. It's getting after it. Finally getting after it now. How far did the wheels come up? It looked pretty good. Of course, or about like, yay. Of course, we were standing, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were standing back here because I didn't know what to expect this time. We went out yeah. front the first time. I was like, yeah. ah. Nah, it's getting after it. It's one of those things, once it keep, once it does it once, it'll just keep on doing it because you'll keep on doing it. That was fun. Was like, well, that's been, that's been the thing like when like Brad hanging around. We just like be aggressive. <laughs> just be aggressive. And then they just start. Once they kind of get to a spot, they just keep if staying he's ready there. ready to go, yeah. You ready? This man, this man was born ready. He was born to make donuts, he was born to be ready. information right here i like the fact that he went down and he granny shifted it just to get him to make, but that is what the epitome of a moral victory right. you don't go home and start telling your wife she's like how to go check you go, baby i did something tonight now key is gonna go home and she'll go how to go do you like hold on uh, let me take my pants off real quick and here we go i got these time slips right here i went to 680 and i pulled the front tires off the ground and she's like oh i can I can hear fainting now. <laughs> He's like, that's right. That's, that's not impressive car. Not yet. Keith, let's be honest, you hadn't given her a reason to maybe really be impressed. But now you start showing her videos of that thing with the tires off. She's like, hey, sticks dig the chick. I mean chicks dig the sticks. Sticks dig the chicks. Works both ways. So there we go. People like wheelies. I don't know. They just do. It was fun. It, it, I mean, it ain't great for ET, but you know, it is fun though. Hey, where's you? Where? Where is she? Your grandma. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. It's just one of them days. What did it run on that one? Like what, a 80? All right, I'm fixing to get me an 80 right here. All right, here we go.
<laughs> all right, well, after all that fiasco, <laughs> what's going on with Eric and stuff? My goodness, he was having a day. Um, Keith was doing pretty good. We pulled up, tried our luck again, and we basically stuck the launch three straight tries, um, which, you know, hey, good on us. <laughs> so, um, we're, but we were so close, so close. So, um, like I say, we didn't really change anything to 6,200, uh, and we just, and these were our last in cars. The GoPro died after that, so it'll all be out cars. So, um, yeah, we shanked it. 154, 739.92.5. Then up 153, 736.92.54. Then uh, 154, 736.92.1. <sighs> At this point, we were, we didn't know if we were gonna be able to get it or not. And you know, it wasn't looking great. That 34 here, or better. the burnout we're uh, down to lower than 20 percent on battery life well after uh our last in-car passes we did decide to just bump the distributor just a notch we didn't even put time on it we just gave it a hit just to see if it'd do anything. And um, we pulled back up there. Go, go on. And uh, 60 foots were okay, a little better. We made three hits. Um, I'll just show you the time slips. 151, 733 at 91.98. We were now officially in the Mountain Dew. We hot lapped it. 149, 725 at 92.93. And then on our second hot lap, 153, 727 at 93.12. That is yet another personal mile per hour. And we are now officially a tenth faster than we ran with EFI. This man's a believer now. I am. He didn't be praying at the altar to stiff walls. 139, 670. Man, getting after From it, huh? 155, is that what you said? Yeah, 155 yeah. was my best before that. What'd you run? <laughs> I'm about to get a Mountain Dew. Oh, oh. What was it? What was it? Make it quick. Oh, he went a, uh, you know, a 733. Did a 725. <laughs> Did a 727 on that backup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You better step off and recognize. EFI. <laughs> I'm gonna put a 150 shot on this. Oh, I bet can't be saying that. The YouTube would be like, you can't curse. Hey, bro, what are we fixing to do? What are we doing? <laughs> Don't hurt it. It's not a box fan. <laughs> what the? Seriously, what? What? Oh. Ah! <laughs> 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 Woo! Did he make it? Nope. Gotta try again.
guys I was fine I bounced right back up and was ready to roll again um, the, sometimes that do hey sometimes when that strike hits you the personal best strikes they got a little bit of extra juice in them so uh, yeah I wiped out got Mountain Dew everywhere I didn't get any on Coyote Brian so that he was happy about that um, and then missed the crash can so hey but we decided we were gonna make we thought maybe there was a teen in there and we we're gonna make three more passes, so you saw those passes. Let's go look at the uh, time slips and see if we did or did not get that into the teams. First pass, 159, 726 at 92.7. Hot lap, 151, 729 at 92.5. And on the last pass, we put the 64 pill in and ran it out in third, 150, 730 at 92.9. So we did not get into the teens. But let's wrap this long son of a gun up. Here we go. Head it out. Made a bunch of passes. GoPro acted all up, but we had a we had a great time. We'll see you guys at the Whataburger. My man just cruising. This, this thing drives really good. Well, I mean, it's part of running. He just cruising, trying to get to the Whataburger. Before we do the outro, I just wanted to throw this in real quick. You can hear Trojan back there cooling down. I just got him, drove him from the house. We left Whataburger last night and I drove, just drove him home. I didn't want to come out here and get brain. It's just, I was ready to be home. It was already nine o'clock and I forgot the time changed. <laughs> so, um, but what I wanted to say is, is just how proud that I am of this car. I mean, just how proud I am of him. He did, so he did a great, great job. You know, I, he, everything, not everything, but things are stacked against him. The two-step wasn't working. You know, he had never, we had never driven him more than up and down in front of the road with a 50 or say 50 a fuel pump probably made in the eighties. Um, just the, you know, it was just a lot of unknown stuff and we drive him all the way to the track. He just purrs like a kitten. We get to the track. He's got me behind the wheel and you know, I ain't doing the greatest job in the world. And he doesn't even blink. Two steps not working, he doesn't even blink. He's just blowing smoke all over the starting line. When people say, I've got a tired 5.0, this is a tired 5.0, my friends. And he just made pass after pass after pass after pass and never blinked, never stumbled, never did anything except his job. He just went A to B every single time, never coughed, got decent mileage, probably got 13, 14 miles a gallon driving up there and driving home. We sloshed a little fuel in him, drove him to Whataburger, then drove him home, then drove him back out here. He never did anything. And I cannot say how proud I am of this car. Just, it ain't me, it's not anything I did. He's just, he may, he'll always be the Trojan horse. But in my heart, he's a war horse. He just keeps on keeping on. I mean, I just, I was driving here, drive, I was driving on the interstate with him, just, and I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, man, I made 14 passes in this thing last night, and he just bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm turning, every pass was, you know, the first couple passes were six grand. Every pass after that was 62. The very last pass was 64. Never blinked. Now, that ain't nothing. You know, it ain't like we're turning to the moon, but I mean, I can't argue with it. <laughs> I just, I, I just got to look at him and I just got to salute him. So before we get any farther, that was my thoughts all the way, all the way from the house to here. Just thinking about what a great job this, this guy did. I mean, would I have wanted more 
uh, ET wise, yeah, we left some on the table. We didn't. We just turned the distributor one time and picked up a little bit. Um, but we didn't do anything. We didn't even pull spark plug. We didn't touch it. We just drove it. And for him to perform the way he did, just consistently, man, I, I cannot be more proud of this car. He just did a great job. And after, you know, not running them for, you know, golly, two, three years, and just to come out there and put on a show like that, man, that's a damn good car. All right, guys, I know this one's probably, you're going to maybe have to watch this one one day and finish it up tomorrow or something. It's a long one, but uh, we made a lot of passes. <laughs> we made 14 passes, and in the previous clip, I'm talking about, you know, Trojan and stuff like that, and um, I, can't, I can't complain. Is there more in it? Absolutely. Yes, I do believe there's more in it. Uh, the weather wasn't fantastic. When we ran that 735, in, Tro uh, in Trojan with EFI, the weather was great. It was, I don't know exactly what the DA was, but it was below sea level. It was really cold. It was, the weather was fantastic. And we beat that number in not great weather. So, not terrible weather, but not great weather. So, um, there's more in them. I think we're gonna change the distributor around and do a few of them, but we'll talk about that in, in, that, in the modification video that We'll, when we start working on them. I just, again, had a great time. I had a, I had a great time. I mean, I had a lot of fun driving a car. Um, I didn't miss any gears. I mean, you know, you take the victories where you get them. I didn't miss any gears. Was hoping for just a little bit more mile an hour, but I always have to remember how wore out this thing is. It was literally, for what it is, it was my slowest EFI car. And that's just because the motor's just tired. Um, Silver Car was faster. Uh, Super Secret was faster. I mean, they're probably a little bit, maybe lighter here and there, because Trojan's not a super lightweight, but the, he just never ran a bunch of mile an hour. Um, so I, I just, you know, I have to temper my expectations, but I can't complain. 14 passes, got to hang out with my friends. We got to eat Whataburger. Eric had a bad night, and before everyone starts bashing on him, he, at the end of the night, was like, hey, man, take my car down the return road. I sat in it, pushed the clutch pedal, said, nah, I'm good. It, he had changed the quadrant. It's, it's, that, that's not going to work. I mean, what he's got in there now, clutch quadrant, that, that's not going to work. So I didn't even need to take it down the road to know that I wasn't going to do anything in it. I was just like, nope. And I let him, hey, this field Trojan, feel Trojan, we, something's gone. You need to change something. So, uh, wasn't uh, the, his outing before that? He was doing great in the car. Um, he changed that quadrant, and now it's all caddy wampus. Or something's going on there. So, wasn't him's car. We just got to get it, or he's got to get it fixed, get it back right, and then you know he'd be right back where he was. So, but I was again had a great day. Thrilled. Got to hang out with everybody. Or. Everybody that was there, I should say, and uh, track was pretty much on point. I didn't do, I didn't do a great job uh, on the starting line, um, and really didn't do a great job on the shift flight either. But I had a lot of fun, so I guess they, and that's what. At the end of the day, that's really kind of what counts. I have, I have my fair share of days where I don't maybe have the best time that I could. And this time, I had a had a great time. So uh, that's going to do it. I think I remembered everything. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Oh, one more thing. If you're still watching, camera angle in the car. Uh, do you like it in the back? It's hard to hear me because, you know, I'm, I got to talk louder. The cars are loud. Do you like it in the back or do you like it where it's up on the windshield? If you got a preference, put it in. I'm just, it, it doesn't really matter to me. It, it's more, I can see what's going on in the car either way from my perspective of watching it. Um, and plus, I was in the car driving, so I kind of know what happened. Um, it's more for you guys. So whichever camera angle you like the best or whatever, just let me know, and I'll maybe do it more or less or whatever. I used to do it like that all the time, then switch the other way. So anyway. But having said all that, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. We couldn't do it without you, and we certainly wouldn't want to. Especially, though... Thanks for watching, and until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos on this here man's YouTube, one year only Lincolns, four drag bands, and as always,
fighting a good fight against Dr. Fear. We'll see you guys in the next video.